form we say uh, html dot begin form this is we are here using the html helpers and we are going to use another html helper that is editor for model this will create the controls for each and every property inside the register view model just we need to pass the name of a class that is a register view model okay. and then we have two buttons one is the submit button which will submit the form which will post the form basically and we will create one more button which would be uh, of type reset and we name it as reset so let's see how our form renders now to render it we have to make changes in global.asx file and we will say our control is register and our action result method is also register so I'll run the application so now you can see our form is ready and we just need to write code to post this form so let's create another action method which would be of http post as form is posted and the form will be posted to this method and we will accept a parameter of type model so to use the model as we have to include a namespace which is new models. So now we can accept a parameter of view model. So we say register view model model. So all the values enter in the form will be posted in this model object. And we can also apply data annotations here. So we will be checking the data annotation as well so we say we apply a check if model state dot is valid if the model state is, is, is valid then then we will return the then we will return the view as it is else we will return view with model having the error messages if if the validation is validation has failed now let's apply let's apply data annotations in order to apply data annotations we have to we have to include namespace which is system dot component model dot data annotations there so currently I'll be using required attribute for all the properties Now let's see, run the application and see how it works. If I submit the form, you can see all the properties will be empty or null as we have not provided any value. So the check is check fail and we are returning the model with error messages. 
where messages will be displayed for each and every property so now we will concentrate on saving these values the user has provided so in order to save value we will create one folder which will hold all the business or or the code which will interact with the database we say services and we will create a new class inside this service folder and we name that class as register service now so here we will first create a method that will save the de register details to db so we have to first include the namespace for our model so that we can interact with the database using that model so we say using sample login register dot models now we will create one method so we say public and currently I am creating a void method say register details which will accept the object of a view model so to use a view model class we have to include view models as well so which will accept object of type register view model and so here we will create a new register object We will assign all the values passed to it. last name age email finally the password last name age email and password from a view model now we will be creating a data context object of our model so we say sample add entities this will help us to interact with the database here we say data context dot add to register and it, it accepts the an object of type register so we say register details and finally we say data context dot save changes so this will save the data to the database now we have to call this method from controller class so when our validation is passed then we will create so in that is inside this we will create object of a service class now to use a service class we have to include the namespace now we can create its object and we can call a save method that is save